I'm going to show you guys a quick little packing tip, aka me being petty and kind of silly about this. But we are going to be going and staying with my ex mother in law, you know, their grandma for about 10 days. So I want to have lots of different outfits for them. I want it to be fun. You know, they like seeing them dressed in all sorts of different things. And while I don't care, they could wear the exact same thing or just be naked, which they are pretty much every single day. I, um, you know, I want it to be fun for grandma's house and for the trip. So what I've done is we are going to have access to a washer and dryer because we will be staying with them. And what I did is I picked out six pairs of shorts, one of which was just like a, you know, this is just like his comfy outfit. So that one doesn't really, you know, really count. It'll be like around the house type thing. But all these other ones are going to be for, you know, different days. We're going to go to the zoo. We're going to have a birthday party celebration. There's just lots of little things. So what I've done is I don't have, you know, that many like individual outfits, but I do have lots of shorts that go with lots of different shirts. So I pulled out basically five pairs of shorts. So they'll have five pairs of shorts, you know, to wear, and they're going to wear each pair twice. So what I've done is I pulled out the shorts and then I've gone and said, okay, you know, what are two shirts that match this? So they can have basically two completely different outfits. So, you know, red shorts, I've got this, this shirt here to go with it. And I've got this shirt here to go with it. So I've got these outfits and I did the same thing, you know, with these. So they're completely like different looking outfits, but you know, they, they go like, here we go. Here's another one, you know, gray shorts, this greenish shirt. Oh, look, what is that? Like looking through the camera and not in real life. And then, you know, this shirt here. So they have completely different outfits and I'm not packing 10 pairs of shorts. I'm only packing five, you know, more shirts and extra shirts don't hurt. I have boys. They are messy slob children. All right, here's what I've done. And here is how I then pack them. And then I just keep them all organized in these like little packets. Basically, this is how I do my pajamas to stay a lot nicer and neater when traveling. They also stay nicer in your closet. So, um, I've shown you guys a million closet tours, but I keep my pajamas like stacked just like this. I put the shirts on the outside and the shorts on the earth, you know, the shorts of the bottoms on the inside. So I've got this shirt here and then I've got this shirt here and they both go with the shorts here. So I have my options laid out in front of me. Of course, when I wash them, this will all get kind of ruined, but it travels really well and it gives you that initial, you know, view of, of what's available. And there you have it. There's all of Deacon's clothes for the entire 10 days. See, I am a very light packer, by the way. <laughs> I hate carrying around more stuff than we absolutely need. So. And that is Drakey. So they are done and I've got their outfits that they're gonna wear today on the plane. And that's it. Bye, guys.